time to glue the pack together. I'm going to be getting each one of my groups of seven cells in parallel, all of those there, lining them up on this set square and using a hot glue gun to bond them together. I'll be doing that for each one of those packs that you see here and then eventually uh, bonding uh, 13 of them times two all together and then after that a lot of soldering. So there's the first go, I'm going to see how well that sticks and then turn it over, do the other side. I don't really know how well hot glue will be working to be honest, how well that will stay together long term. I've seen other YouTubers do it, uh, hopefully it will work well enough. Um, if not I might try to buy <coughs> excuse me, some um, dedicated plastic holders which you can find on eBay for a relatively cheap price um, or I suppose gaffer tape. Um, I'd rather not do that to be honest, I'd rather do this um, hot glue method. So I'll see how it goes. I can see I'm going to get through quite a lot of glue like this. Good job I bought an extra pack of glue the other day. And there's the first row of cells. Feels reasonably good. It'll feel much better when it's all, when they're all uh, bound together. And to be honest, around the very outside of them, I might well put some gaffer tape. Um, that might be the best solution. But binding those together like that, this is fine. Strong enough. A little bit of flexibility in it, to be honest, that's probably a good thing. Um, I don't necessarily want them that rigid. The pack might well move. So, on to, uh, on to all the rest. About uh, 25 to go. Halfway through, there is the 13th pack all glued together, put it over here with the rest, so they're not yet done, these are done. So I've got enough right now for a full pack to power the bike and the rest of them will be the second pack. This takes a long time in total, just everything, if you want to build yourself an e-bike you've got to do it because you like it not because uh, you think you're going to save some time or anything, it's a very long, slow process. Onwards. A quick interlude. Can anyone see what's wrong with this pack? Have a look. How about that middle cell? Does it look right to you? It's not right at all. It's upside down. I've just glued the other side of it, but they should snap apart quite easily. Like that. That was lucky, wasn't it? used to go that way. Just imagine. Finally, the last one. It's taken a little while. I haven't got through quite as much glue as I thought I would. But you, the, both packs aren't exactly built yet, so I'll get through some more, no doubt. My cheap and crappy uh, glue gun is squeaking and flexing because it's shit. Buy cheap, buy twice, remember that, including with building e-bikes. Mm. And we're done. 26 packs. So, now's the time to put them all together. And I'm going to finish it here tonight. Next stage will be soldering them. And firstly, I'll just be using uh, uh, I'll be using copper wire to solder them, and I'll just be soldering them all in parallel first of all, and I'll uh, do the uh, series solders later. And I've yet to buy a BMS. I need to get hold of them. I, in fact, I need two of them. It's got two packs, and I need a voltage monitor as well. I want to know uh, when the pack is getting too low when I'm hammering it on the bike doing about 90 miles an hour. But that's it for now. This is what the pack will look like. That is obviously positive upwards there in parallel. So if I series these positive downwards like that, and I'll be bridging across, across like that repeatedly for 13 wide. Lots more fun to come. Time to glue the packs together. 
I'll only be able to run one bead down the side, each side of these, as I glue them together down there and on there. Uh, I won't be able to get into the middle, so as I do that, as I make my way through this pack, these are all um, sort of free-floating at the moment, they're not joined together yet. As I do that, um, it'll become a bit more stable, but it still probably won't be enough just having a bead down these sides, so uh, I guess I might put some gaffer tape all around the outside of them to help them as well, I'm not sure yet, it might be a bit ugly that, I'm not really sure, we'll see. Uh, once I've glued them together, and that one as well, once I've done that, I'll be using uh, copper, um, copper bar, or copper wire, uh, to solder across the tops here, um, and I'm just going to be, I've got a fair bit of spare, um, it's UK plug wiring, so the actual size of it, is it there? If we can focus on that, it's quite large. It's capable of taking, uh, being used for uh, plug sockets uh, in the UK, three core wiring. So it's fairly large. I'm not sure of the actual number of amps it can hold, but I'm sure it's up to the job. Yeah. So if needed, I can always um, add more in future if I do need some more. So there now is both of my two packs soldered, uh, not soldered, glued. And there's the other one, I don't know how, to, how easy this will move. Yeah, hopefully it's fairly strong, I don't know yet. Guess we'll find out. Oops, well, that's not probably not good for it at all, shock like that. Well, seems all right. So, time to start soldering. Mm -hmm. 